That's a beast. Look at all of them, dude. There's like yeah. a swarm of them. Look at that. Oh, big amber. Big amber, too. Look at the big amber jet. Oh, man. Covered up down there. Finally got it. <laughs> he is caught. I think whatever we have on right now may be too big for the ride. <laughs> There he is, that's a jowl, oh, dude. That is a monster, absolute monster. There's other ones with him. So it's like 6 a.m. I just pulled up to my, uh, my client Steve's house. We're gonna do some offshore fishing. What's up, guys? Brent, what's up, man? Y'all ready to roll? Ready to rock, dude. Sweet, man, it looks like it's uh, pretty calm right now. I hope. Positive feelings. I hope, man, Positive I'm throwing out. <laughs> I'm being optimistic. <laughs> oh, man. So I got. Nice morning, man. Look how yeah, calm that is. It's pretty, that man. Pretty. Beautiful out here. Just got out here, we're 25 miles outside of Pensacola Pass. Trying to get some grouper and stuff like that, but got two nice Almacos on the first couple drops. So. This water is so blue today, check it out. Gotta be a mahi out here somewhere. There he is, that's a fish. Fighting like a come. Oh, he just came off. Oh my god. What? You kidding me? <laughs> False alarm. We just lost a good fish coming up there. There he is. He fi finally got it. <laughs> he was playing with it for about five minutes, wasn't he? I'm thinking <clears throat> that you have a little Alma. Now I'm thinking you've got, you got a giant vermilion snapper. That'd be nice. What I'm hoping it's not is a red snapper. Oh, I think that might be what it is. Here he comes. Nope, giant vermilion. Look at there, that's what I'm talking about. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now those big vermilions like that are one of my favorite fish to eat. I mean, they're so good. And that one right there was the size of a keeper red snapper. He was a, that was a nice one. So we just hooked one on our fly line right here. We had a big live bait out the back. We had a big live thread fin herring, hoping for a black fin tuna. Could be just a giant edge bonita, but we're gonna find out here shortly. No. Oh, another fish on, another fish on. That's got, that's two, that's what you want. One of them's a big keeper. Look at there. <laughs> so. It's a not, nice king mackerel. It's not a, it's neither a bonita nor a black fin tuna. <laughs> That's a nice king. We don't even have him on a wire leader. So I don't know if he's going to stay on or not. You got a gaff, Steve? Yeah. He's hooked perfect right in the corner of the mouth, so we're good. He is caught. Right. Come here. That's a nice king. That's a lot of mercury if you didn't see my last video. <laughs> it's linked below. Yep, go grab go grab that back pole. It, it, it's on. Yep, it's he's still on. Start reeling. Yep, he's on. Fish on over there too. I think he's yeah, he's on. Every single cigar minnow we're flipping out the back right now is getting smoked by king mackerel. I mean, they're everywhere in our chum line. We're just <laughs> chumming right out this. We're cutting these little baits up and chumming, and these kings are in like a feeding frenzy. Oh, it's a bonita. <laughs> I thought you had a remora coming in. I was like, what the heck? He's foul hooked. He's foul hooked. It's a Look, big, what's that? That's a uh, shark. Yeah. Couple remoras or something. Uh, Bonita. Uh, 
Yeah. And a good mess of fish in there, huh? Yeah. I just caught an Alma K Jack. Those little things fight hard. That's an Amberjack's little cousin, except you're allowed to keep them. There's no size limit to them here in the state of Florida. I think whatever we have on right now may be too big for the ride. <laughs> I think it's an Amberjack. We just pulled up to a new spot, first bait in the water. She gets smoked. I'm waiting for, for him to pop you on the reef, man, unfortunately. You, wrong species. I would go under that chum bag around the other side. Man, I can't believe it. We're actually seeing color. Like, this is a big fish to catch on this light tackle, let me just tell you. There he is right there. It's a weird fighting species right here. I, I do not know what we have. Let's put it that way. Don't put any, don't put any more pressure. We've got him up. Go easy on him. You're fixing to see like the coolest fish right here, I'm telling you. There he is. That's a jowl, oh, dude. That is a monster. Absolute monster. There's other ones with him. Look at that, man. Oh, that is a beautiful, that's a huge rainbow runner too, man. Look at that. Easy, 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 easy. All right, net him, net him, there you go. Oh, that is a beast, dude. Oh my God. That's the biggest one I've ever caught, hands down. <laughs> that is cool, man. It looks like a Kobe almost, with the color. So if you didn't see my rainbow runner catch and cook, which is linked below. They taste just like yellowfin tuna. You sashimi them out and they're absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's put him in the cooler and get after some more. Check, check this out, guys. I'm about to feed the barracudas behind the boat. Look, they're coming. They're coming. Oh man, let's drop him down a little further. Let's see it. There they, oh, there he is. We got them. We got them. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's on. <laughs> That's a beast. Look at all of them, dude. There's like a swarm of them. Look at that. Oh, big amber. Big amber, too. Look at the big amber jet. Oh, man. There he is. I think you probably, if it is a cuda, he's hooked like at, as perfect as he can possibly be hooked. There he is. That's what it is. Or is that a big king? That's a cuda, man. He just must be hooked perfectly. You know what, that, that is a giant cuda. <laughs> Check it out. That is a beast cooter right there. Last fish of the day. Caught him on a glass minute jig. All right, we're headed back. It's been a good day out here. Yeah, everybody's worn out. Guys, if y'all want to pull those fish out of the cooler, I'll take a big picture of all you guys. We caught a few today. So that was a cool trip, man. We had a good time out there. You know, we actually went out there for uh, scamp and grouper because the last trip I went out there, we did really well on scamp and grouper, but they were non-existent. I mean, we did not get a grouper bite the whole time, but it's all right. There was a lot of other cool fish out there that we caught today, even that I didn't get on film. Lots of king mackerel. You could catch a king mackerel every bait out the back of the boat today, so that's always good. It's always fun fishing with Steve, man. He's a, he's a good dude, so we had a great time, but I'm headed home right now because I'm tired and I have a full week of fishing and other stuff planned. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great week.